And if we focus now on Morgan Stanley in the business, and you've been pushing, of course, this turnaround plan. As part of that, you've had this $1 billion cost-cutting program. Where mm. are we in that? Can you give us an update? Are you close to finalizing that program? Well, that, that was uh, something we called Project Streamline, and it was more um, common sense. I mean, just reducing complexity in our business, uh, from the number of servers we have to the number of data centers we have, uh, things of that nature. So we're, we're well through uh, towards the goals of that, but we're going to continue to be disciplined in managing expenses. Uh, but that's, I wouldn't see that as a core strategic driver. It's just, frankly, good housekeeping. And part of that was cutting back in the fixed income trading part of the business. You cut the headcount by about 25%. Yeah. But earnings have been pretty strong the last few yeah. quarters. So how did you manage that with yeah. fewer staff? Well, you know, we, we've, um, it's a tough business, fixed income, and it continues to be. And it's probably the most volatile business any of the investment banks have. Uh, for us, it was one of our smaller businesses. And we just decided with the amount of balance sheet capital headcount expense against what we saw the revenue opportunity, they were out of balance. And we made uh, a very aggressive move, the leadership in that business did, at the end of 2015, I think it was, to cut 25% of the headcount. We didn't anticipate the kind of revenue we've had in the last couple of quarters. Our target was a billion dollars a quarter, and we've done over a billion five uh, last quarter. But I, I frankly don't put too much stock in that. I'm more interested in how the business performs over the long term. If we consistently generate about a billion dollars in revenue a quarter, then we will approve the uh, concept of what we want in terms of right-sizing that business.